and here we have another cystic ovarian tumor. It is composed of large cysts with only a small amount of the stroma in between them. For the diagnosis, it's important to look at the epithelium which line the cystic structures. On higher magnification, we can see that the epithelium consists of uniform, benign-looking cells with basally located nuclei and uh, quite voluminous cytoplasm. The cytoplasm contains a lot of mucin and therefore the appearance is slightly eosinophilic to clear. Here we see a lot of mucin droplets. If we use PAS stain, uh, the mucin would be uh, strongly positive. So this is the mucinous type of the epithelium and it is, it is the exactly it is exactly the same type of the epithelium which lines the endocervical glands. The nuclei are not hyperchromatic, they are not atypical, and all of them are in the basal part uh, of the cells. The basement membrane is intact, and there are no cytomorphological atypia. So this is the typical appearance of the mucinous cyst adenoma. We always need to exclude borderline mucinous tumor, which would be associated with mild cytological atypical features of the epithelium. The tumor is usually unilateral and uh, it is benign. Thanks for watching.